YouTube. Pop the C2000 here on a gorgeous afternoon. And I uh, thought I'd take this easy meandering road and uh, talk a little bit about the ECU remapping or reflashing or reprogramming, take your choice, that I did on my MJ09. And uh, previously, before this type of technology was available to the common enthusiast, people always used a piggyback controller like a Power Commander or Bazaz or something similar. But now, uh, with drive by wire and uh, different driving modes and other things that have come to the motorcycling forefront, I think that uh, the benefits of being able to access the original ECU become greater and greater. So uh, I became aware of Flash 2 and its uh, products some time ago and after researching it decided that's what I wanted to do to my bike. The prime motivation was conditions like this. I'm riding along in third gear at 3000 RPM. Previously, the bike would stutter uh, and surge because it was running quite like me. And of course, we all know manufacturers of motorcycles are forced to make the bikes compliant to emissions regulations that uh, new machines are required to meet. But that doesn't make the bike run very well. It's not too happy about it. So, you know, I, I, I dealt with it last year and, you know, it's still a good bike with that slight flaw, but the other side effect to a lean mixture is it tends to be very touchy. And, uh, the throttle mapping, the low throttle openings, especially in the A mode, but even in standard mode, were excessively excessively snatchy, I guess is what uh, the term most of us are using. So, that's another benefit of this software. You can get control on the throttle opening or the throttle mapping in each mode and customize it to you know, suit your riding style and to, to provide a, a, a nicer riding experience. So uh, I did, I ordered that software and I, I studied the maps at length before making any changes and um, I'm very pleased, I mean the bike as you can tell is dead smooth, there's no more uh, stuttering at low speeds, there's no more snatchiness, uh, the A mode I've uh, started to use at times now where before it was I, I found it was just obnoxious so now uh, I can use all three modes uh, when the situation warrants it um, there are all kinds of benefits you can modify compression braking or engine braking again specific to each mode so you can have it behave differently on diesel every mode. Uh, I've started to play with those functions a little bit, uh, not at great length. Initially, uh, you know, I found this bike to have very aggressive engine braking. Some people like that. Uh, it's handy at times, but it can still be over, over aggressive. So, it's got a multitude of benefits over just a piggyback fuel controller which does only fuel. Uh, we've got our spark maps that we can control of course, that's all part of the puzzle. And uh, 
there are switches or functions you can turn on and off. The air injection uh, system can be disabled. You can have that warning system that cracks the pops or whatever on the cell and you want that feature smoothed out. That's a really cool feature. Every other quick shifter I'm aware of, you're obviously adding an external modular box. So I ordered that. I haven't received it yet. I'm thinking about a week from now I should have it. Uh, I'll do a separate review on that feature since it's uh, so cool. Uh, but it allows you to upshift the bike without having to use the clutch. And because of the sophistication of the software and that you're accessing the ECU itself, you have the ability to get a much smoother quick shift function with this than many of those piggyback modules because it's not a single delay or cut time for the ignition cut. It can be tailored for throttle position and RPM so that the cut time gives you the smoothest amount of uh, cut to produ produce less chain lash and uh, the best drivability and from all the reviews I've read and heard it is quite a feature to have you know some people are even using it with a passenger on and claiming that they're getting a smoother gear change and less upset to the passenger than using the clutch itself. Less forward and back motion. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that feature. You know, with the uh, people talking about the clutch cable life being a little bit uh, reduced on this bike, some people have experienced If I could use it uh, quite frequently, it would reduce the use of the clutch cable and uh, prolong its life. So, um, yeah, that's a little chat about the Flash 2 software and cable and such. I have access to a dyno uh, anytime I want uh, without charge, thanks to Richmond Motorsports in Ontario, Canada. Uh, and uh, so, I, I, you know, this product's not for everybody because if you don't have access to a dyno, you can't just blindly load maps. It does have a feature where you can import a map from Power Commander to your fueling. And I haven't tried that feature, uh, but apparently it's there, and uh, so that's another option. Anyways, that's my review on the Flash Tune. I love it. The bike rides better. It's got more power and full top speed, and uh, the drivability is great. Anyways, that's Papa C's review. Have a fun ride and a good season.